is Astoria C and my name is Toyo C. Phillips. Welcome to Astoria Seas. My name is Toyo C. Phillips. Astoria Seas is a talk show that addresses a variety of social issues, from the serious to the amusing, the sad, and even the controversial. My guests and I will be speaking on these issues and sharing candid experiences that have shaped how we see things. So today I'm going to be welcoming my guest, beauty, entrepreneur, motivational speaker, and woman of God. Oye Wumi Ajakaye. Welcome to the show, Oye. Hi. You're blessed. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, so a little background on Oye. I met Oye through a mutual friend and it turns out we, we went to the same university. What struck me most and still strikes me about Oye is her blatant love for God and her unashamedness, is there a word like that, to discuss things of God. And I also noticed she's very into beauty and style and is not afraid to be bold in her fashion choices. So I thought, hmm, this would be the perfect person to talk to about being the modern day godly woman. So that's what we're going to be talking about, the modern day godly woman. You are our modern day Esther, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but wait, when did you take your faith seriously? Um, 2013. Did any significant thing happen that led to that? Yep, something happened. You are going to share it with us today. Okay, so um, I don't know. I think it was just a phase of my life where I felt empty. I felt like everything I was trying to do, nothing was working. I felt like I was making too much effort, but nothing made sense. So I knew that, I mean, I tried boys and they were not feeling that void. So I knew there was something deeper that my spirit was craving for. Yeah. And yeah. What happened? I went to church and then God arrested me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's how women of God speak. God arrested. Was that to be arrested? Was it with? I can't <laughs> explain. <laughs> but I was just screaming. Use me, mold me, feel me. That's what I remember. And has there been ever like any? Has has there been any going back since then? Her going back? Not really. Apart from when I broke my celibacy pact with God. Yeah. No. Okay. It's okay. I was still in God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But now you're fully, fully in Christ. Uh, is there anything? There's nothing like one leg in fully or you're either in or out. So yes, I'm all in Christ. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. What's the hardest thing you've had to give up? Sex. Is it really hard to give up sex? It is. It is? Yes, it is very hard. Especially if you've been active sexually. Yeah. So it's a different thing if you've never had sex, but you know you you know you're doing this to you're doing this to obe in obedience to God. In yeah. obedience to God's word is very very difficult. There are days that you feel like you want to cuddle, and you know that cuddling can just lead to something <laughs> else. So you just have to stay in your house and. You know. Oh Lord, a lot of people use that cuddle thing, so it doesn't really mm, yeah, it's big not really setup. safe safe yeah. to cuddle. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, in this journey, like modern day, Christian, all of that, is there anyone living that you look up to? Hmm. Tara Dorote. <laughs> I don't oh, think I need to think twice TFD. about that. Yeah. yeah, I really love her. I really love how, um, you know, when we talk about modern day women, I think a lot of them, one major issue I've noticed with people is they have a problem with submission. But Tara is, she's just, she's submissive to her husband, she's well to do in her field, she's strong, she's, I mean, she's just, she's okay. You know a lot of people are going to say, how do you know that? How do you know she's submissive to her husband? Well, I've, I've been at a couple of their conferences, and apart from that, you can tell when a woman is submissive, right. really. From their chemistry, the way they, they are from their conversations, you can tell she, this is a woman that is well to do, but she definitely respects her husband, regardless of how much she's made for herself. Yeah, yeah. I love TMD, I love her. Um, so is there any person dead, or let me say Bible character, Bible personality that you look up to, in terms of women? Women, hmm. Bible. I'll say Deborah, because that's my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. What do you like about her? She was a leader. 
Right. And she wasn't afraid to lead. Right. You know, she took the bold step even when the guys were chickening out. Right. You know, she right. did it right. So you talked about breaking your celibacy pact and that was like one of the things you did when you went back into the world as we term it. Um, so I'm guessing you're celibate again now, are you? Yes, I am. Is that an, a firm yes you are? I mean, it's over a year, so yes, it's I am. It's been over a year. Okay, so are you dating anyone now? No. Mm. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, for real. You're not dating anyone? Yeah. Okay, so um, do you have any struggles with sex? I know... Yes, you're not dating, but have there been any instances where you've had to deal with sexual advances? No. No? Yes, because I try to protect myself. I right. don't... I won't go visiting if I know I can't control the... So I'd rather right. stay in my house. So I would have you come over since daddy's at home and you can't try to touch me where daddy is. And, um, but yes, yeah, struggle. But for real, and I'm going to be honest, for some time I don't feel like... I don't know, I don't, I don't feel that, I don't feel the need to have sex anymore. Right. I feel like my body has gotten used to it. Mm -hmm. And sex is overrated in the sense that, so boy meets girl, you, well, sometimes you don't even get to kiss, but yes, you kiss, you get down, and then that's it. But I think the most complicated part for me was the, is the emotions that is attached. So now, I think it's easier for a guy to have sex with a girl when they're not emotionally attached. Well, I could do it too, and then I'll probably not talk to you again when I was in the world. That was me. <laughs> but, um, like I said, I was, my body was yearning for something much more than physical. Right. Like the physical experience or the physical attachment. I wanted something much more. And then I found out that I was getting emotionally attached to the wrong people. So, I mean, I'm still struggling to break off or break loose from some people. I feel like from some people, like, because when I think about them, I feel like, oh, God, this is my future. But I know that, no, this is no future. <laughs> this so those are, the part of those are part of the complications that comes with, you know, having sex and all that. But I'm good. I'm really, really good. I mean, people don't believe. You know, I've met guys and they're like, oh, you're deceiving yourself. You're but I'm really, really good. Nobody understands. I'm very good. Okay, okay. We need to go on a short break now. When we get back, we'll still be speaking on the modern day godly woman with Oye Wumi Ajakae. Coming up on Astoria Sea. No, but I have fears that I might settle for a guy that is in the world because I'm pretty much still attracted to the bad boys. <laughs> Take a break and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Astoria Seas. I'm speaking with beauty entrepreneur, motivational speaker, and woman of God. She's not really a pastor. I just call her woman of God. Oh yeah, Jackie. And we're talking about the modern day godly woman. Okay, so you've talked about like holding back and just protecting yourself, all of that. One thing I've found in a lot of modern day like Christian women in their quest to really be like for God and stay in Christ and all of that, they come across as mean. They're not friendly. They're not nice. They, I mean, they, they are, and some of them are not approachable. Is this something you can attest to? Is this how you are? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about others, but for me, I, can, I think I became a bit uptight after I gave my life to Christ. But then... Um, but God preaches love. So why well, is there I, love? I love people, trust me, <laughs> but... You, you love to, by words. You need to guard your heart too. Right. But well, I'm um, talking about being friendly and no, I feel like it has to do with your personality. I've met a couple of godly people that are really friendly. I can't be crazy. But when I'm with my, my crew, not when I'm outside. Right. So I don't think it has anything to do with the God factor. I think it has to do with the person. Okay, okay. All right, cool. When did you, like we're moving on now, when did you decide to become bold about your faith? Okay, so when I gave my life to Christ, one of the first thing, or the, do I say the agreement I have with God was that I was going to share my testimony to set other people free. Right. So obviously, you know my testimony is not, a, it's not about sex or anything. It was a testimony of a girl, bad girl, gone good. Yeah. Because everybody knew me as a bad girl. So you bad girl! Stop it. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine having to tell God, like, okay, yes, I'll go all out and let people know the story. This is what, I mean, the real story. You know my Instagram. Keep it real. These things are happening. Yeah, your Instagram is actually very... 
um what's what's the word i can use now it's like a confession it's like a confessional rather i feel like every time i come on your page or not every time but you're, you're you're saying something about what you've done before and what you've changed now all of that have you ever gotten any backlash for that i get backlash all the time like what, what are the kinds of things people say to you um like you're judgmental and i'm like how, how can i be judgmental this is me sharing my own story i even struggle with god in my own room to share this story like god i don't want to say this you know I'm, i've had people say things like who's going to marry you i've had people say things like are you not worried about your in-laws and i'm like no my future is sorted in-laws will be okay i am oh yeah jackai before any guy came to meet me so mm. i mean guys have passed too yeah. So I don't know why the ladies have to feel like they have to be the victim or I don't know why we have to sugarcoat stuff. Like bad is bad. Right. People sleep with married men. It's bad. And it's right. these things are happening. So why do you have a problem with me talking about it? Or why do you feel like I'm being judgmental because I'm keeping it real? So I feel most times it's because people catch their soul and they take it <laughs> so. Okay, have you ever you just have people catch their soul, have, have you been? ever spoken about someone? Have you ever subbed someone directly? Like, okay, this is for my friend or this is for somebody. I don't want to put her name, but I'm, I'm just going to write this and hopefully she knows it's, it's about her. Maybe years ago okay. I have, but recently I haven't done that because I figured that Jesus doesn't throw shades. Mm. So I'd rather just... Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> so i will rather just keep it real. If I have a problem, or I would only share a story my friend has permitted me to share. So I might not mention their names, but I can share their story. But if I want to sub, I don't have to sub anybody. My, my, I am a handful. My, my story is, I mean, yeah. a book full. So there's no point talking about someone else. Okay. We all have our struggles. So. Do you have fears that you would ever go back to how you were? <laughs> No, but I have fears that I might settle for a guy that is in the world because I'm pretty much still attracted to the bad boys. <laughs> I think they're interesting because, you know, you talk about the godly yeah. ladies looking uptight yeah. and being mean, but these church boys, they don't, I mean, they can't smile for Jesus. Right. Do you understand? So I feel like I'd rather be with, I'm fun. Bad boys that are very flirtatious. Yes. No, 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 I don't want flirtatious. Maybe, okay. not really bad boy, but maybe a happening boy. <laughs> That is principled. So you, do you understand? Yeah. You know when they say good is not God, maybe a good guy that's not godly. Right. I really don't want to, but that is my major fear. Like, okay, this one is okay. Let me just go. Okay. So do you look at people as projects? Do I look at people as as projects? Like, mm, let me change this person. This is why Jesus died for me to change people. Mm -mm. No, no. So you're not talking to somebody hoping to change the person or hoping to. No, I, I don't know. So I, there's somebody I've had a crush on for years. Who, who? I <laughs> hopefully he doesn't see this. Okay. So I've had a crush on him for years. Trust me, he's not even a fine boy like my normal fine boy. But he's, I'm attracted to intelligent guys. Okay. So he's a bookworm. It's a sexual. And then his brother entered my DM. Mm. He didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> and we got talking and I started getting emotional, getting that because it was everything, like it was... 100% different from what I expected. This is somebody I expected him to be saying things in the world. And then it comes to me to say things like, you know, you can't get married to any guy. You have to protect yourself, your vision. It has to be a man that supports your vision. And I'm like, oh my God, this is the boy I've been waiting for. But, um, so at some point I started telling him about Christ and all that. But I realized that maybe God actually sent him to DM me so that we can just be friends mm. and not attaching emotions so yeah. i i just took a both step i was like are you talking to somebody and he's like yes and since then i laid back. back but if he sends me a message saying oh something is wrong with me i can send him a scripture but trust me i'm not trying to i'm still a work in progress right right so okay so this just is sweet but we have to go on a short break we'll be back after the break coming up on astoria C. I have to look fine. When I'm heartbroken, <laughs> the next thing I'm thinking of is how to get my lashes done and take the perfect selfie. Life is life is beautiful. We're taking a break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm speaking with Oye Ajakaye about being the modern day godly woman. Now let's talk about your beauty side. Um, I see you posting like selfies and you're trying new products and you're putting all of that out. Do you ever fear people will call you confused? Because the, the, the general norm is 
Christians are like modest, we don't really show this and that. But do you ever have that fear of being called confused or insincere with your faith, about your faith? I don't care as long as I'm at peace with God. Okay. Okay. So has anyone ever called you like a narcissist? Like, why are you taking so many pictures? Because you can post. And then you sell your products again. So I'm I know vain. that. I'm very vain. And being vain gives me money. Being vain gives you money? Yeah, because I can, I think I can boast about it. That a couple of people that have worn their hair products, they come back telling me, everybody's saying, I want it the way it looks on I am Divine Diva. Mm. So yeah, it's a gift. So no one has called you narcissistic. And you don't care about being called narcissistic? I don't care. <laughs> so, okay, so how do you blend? I mean, how did you get into beauty, first of all? Good question. So, everything about me is spiritual. Right. Yeah, after I gave my life to Christ, one of the things I struggled with was going into a business line. And um, I've always thought I wasn't a business person. So, my ex was, would say to me, um, Your salary is nothing. You need an additional source of income. But I didn't go into it until after we broke up. It was my ginger. Like, you, needed to, you need to get busy, make more money for yourself, and all that. And then I remember that I was in church. So, I have a particular spot. I like sitting down in church. That was the same place where I got arrested. And that's where I get all my business ideas from. Yeah. Nobody needs to know where. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was on that same I was going spot. To ask, is in front? Is no, in? Trust me, they're in front. Okay. And then I was sitting there and then the next thing I'm like God you know what I want to try this business line I don't know if it's going to be profitable but I need you to give me a sign if you really want me to go into this and the next thing I get to work the next day and somebody comes oh I want to buy powder do you sell powder I'm like wow <laughs> I haven't even told anybody that I'm trying to go into this beauty. beauty line and all that and then apart from that you know I'm vain naturally I was saying it to someone recently the three places I go to that make me happy church salon and in my house. I love all things beauty. I love my nails, I love my hair. I have to look fine. When I'm <laughs> heartbroken, the next thing I'm thinking of is how to get my lashes done and take the perfect selfie. Life is, life is beautiful, you know? Right. Okay. <laughs> so that's where that came from. Okay, so do you see yourself seeking validation from... Um, so this question stems from young women now who post the same selfies that you post, but for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. They, they're looking for validation from strangers, I call them, like the whole social media thing. Um, is that a struggle you've ever had, seeking validation from the wrong places? Yes, but um, I think after I even got the attention from the so-called Christian people, I wasn't feeling it. So I had to break free because I felt like some people were trying to put me in a box. I hate to be a clique person. So right. I don't want to be seen as, oh, she's in this person's clique, Click. she's in this person's I'm everybody's friend. Okay. But um, validation, no, not anymore. So I know you're starting a new project aimed at like building and helping build up young girls. Is it their, like, um, what's it, their self, self, sense of self? Or I know you have something to do with young girls. Well, well I have a fellowship, okay. like a support group for young Christian ladies. Okay. So that's what that is. What's then we that have called? A, the Divine Divas. That's where Divine Diva came from. Okay. <clears throat> but you also have a project that's aimed at talking to young girls, right? Yes, I do. Tell but me about that. But that is business related. So my beauty channel will be launching soon. And um, it's supposed to be educative, entertaining, and empowering. Basically, encouraging young girls that you can get things right legally without having to doing, doing things in a bad way or in the bad light. That's okay. what it's about. So what's your ultimate advice to young girls who want to be godly and still trendy in their style, fashion, everything? How would you tell them to go about that? Um, I, even the Bible says do all things in moderation. And then you have to realize that you've been called to, you've not been called to be like everybody. You have to be set apart. Something has to be to distinguish you from every other person. So um, what do I have to tell them? Be bold in Christ. Don't... Um, the only thing that is worth it is your love for God. Don't settle, don't try to change yourself because you're trying to please people. Go all out. If you really love God, go all out and let people know that you love God. And then yes, be set, be set apart, do everything, all things in moderation. Don't do it because you're trying to oppress somebody. So you're not trying to look trendy because you're trying to oppress or anything. You're doing it because yes, yes it makes you, you feel, feel good, good for yourself, not for anybody. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. We'll be back with my final thoughts after the break. Take a break and we'll be right back.
Welcome back to Astoriosis. So it's not Astoriosis if I don't give my opinion. Now the peer pressure I see around today is frightening and a lot of people keep comparing themselves with themselves, which is stupid according to the good book. You're not supposed to compare yourselves with yourselves. Um, I feel like women now need to know that they can take a stand. They can be godly and still trendy like our guests here and everything should come from within. So if you feel yourself getting or strain away and confused about life or anything find peace within yourself because that's the most important thing so for me it is your purpose your peace yourself and all these things are perfected in god i'm a testimony of what god has done in my life i'm never ashamed to talk about it so women young girls we can do this we can be the modern day esters thank you so much for being here we thank you for having me and thank you guys for watching. You can stay engaged with the show by following us on social media at Astoyosis on Twitter and Instagram. Make someone's life better today. See you next time. This is Astoyosis and my name is Astoyosis Billy. Thank you for watching. Thank you.